Okay, let's get on with this. Good morning, Frank. How are you this morning? Oh, much better now that you are here, my dear. How are you? Oh, I'm good, as always. Oh. How's uh, Thomas's job hunting going? It must be difficult, you being the only one working. Oh, it's fine. Don't you worry about that. It's my job to worry about you. I've no idea what I'd do without you. God knows my son wouldn't look after me. And here you are every day, listening to my stories, pretending to enjoy them. Oh, come on, Frank, you don't need to talk about this. Oh, yeah. Oh. Now, you must be tired after all your visitors this morning. <coughs> Why don't you rest while I get you checked out and sort it, yeah? <coughs> See? You're just proving my point. I've been looking into you, Eve, and what I found is very interesting. You have a lot of debt for somebody your age. And you're the sole earner in your household. That must be a big strain on you, isn't it? Most of the debt you owe is to my company. I assume that's why you took the job. To swindle money out of the old man. Well, I have a proposition for you. Oh, no. I will swipe away all of your debt. All you have to do, forget about the old man. How did the interview go? Hi, honey. I didn't get the job. Said I wasn't the right fit. That's okay. You didn't even really want the job anyway. Yeah, I suppose so. Something will come along. Just looking at some jobs at home. Then I'm gonna go over to Jay's later. Might have a few beers and watch the footy. Of course, that's fine. Have fun with Jay. And I'll see you later when you get home. I love you. Yeah, I love you too, Eve. Take care. It's a limited time offer. You and your pathetic boyfriend will be evicted unless you leave my father alone. Pretty please. You know how I adore your father. He doesn't I even... don't care. Accept my offer. You don't really have any other choice.
Hi. Did you have a good rest? Mm, yeah, I suppose so. Oh. Oh. <coughs> 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 <sighs> really enjoyed having you around, you know that? <laughs> Frank? Frank, what's wrong? Frank! It's 8 p.m. I know you're going to take my offer. So? Let's get on with this. Mr. Brady Chudley is fully aware of his father's last wishes, and although he is not in agreement with them, it has been decided that Mr. Chudley was in his right mind when he made these changes. Therefore, it will act as his last will and testament. Mr. Chudley has left his home to his son, Brady Chudley. All of his accounts and his majority shares 